Here and um, okay, you guys are expecting uh, another Let's Watch series or something like that. Well, actually, I have some news to tell you. Okay, we just um, well, with the 2012 series has finally come to a close after five long seasons, five long years, we are getting another Ninja Turtle series. Woo! Oh, yeah, this yeah. Yeah. Yay! Okay, so about this, uh, the new title is called Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This, uh, the series actually follows Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello, and Michelangelo in an all-new adventures as they seek to unlock the mystic secrets of New York City. Hmm, how is the Ninja tri Tribunal from, like, Season 5 of the 2000 2003 series? Yeah, kinda like, kinda like that, you know? <laughs> kinda like that. From the tallest skyscrapers to the darkest sewer drain, the turtles will encounter absurd new mutants and battle bizarre creatures, all while enjoying their favorite slices of pizza. So yeah, this is definitely sounding like a piece of from the uh, from season five of the uh, of, yeah of the 2003 series uh, with the Ninja Tribunal and the um yeah the Mystic Ninja Powers Mystic Ninja Powers. Okay, so this does sound pretty good. Tapping into Mystic Ninja Powers. Like saying the vibe they never knew, knew existed, the four brothers must learn to work together and navigate the pearls of modern age and hidden realms in order to fulfill the destinies to become a team of heroes. Oh man, you know, with the uh, 2012 series, they do not rest. Nickelodeon does not rest. They just announce a new series as soon as they finish the old one. <laughs> so, you know what? I cannot wait to hear this. It's been a while since we last seen. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be a 2D animation series of, yeah, 2D animation series. Um, they just announced uh, 26 episodes, so a season of 26 episodes. Hopefully, if it will be good, we'll be getting another season afterwards. <laughs> we'll be getting another season. And um, it's going to run for, like, 22 minutes. Um, at first, I thought it was going to be, like, you know, I thought it was going to be, like, 10 minutes, like they're done with um, T-Titans -Tit -Tit Go or Sonic and Sonic Boom. So, yeah, I thought it was going to be, like, what, 10, 11 minute episodes, but it's going to be the usual 22 episodes. So, more of the fun. Yeah, it's gonna be loads of fun. So, anyway, let's talk about the cast. Okay, so pretty much we announced the four, the cast for the four turtles, April O'Neil, and Splinter. Okay, let's start with Leo, shall we? Okay, Leo is gonna be voiced by uh, Ben Schwartz. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, Schwartz. Okay, so uh, you may have heard of him from... Um, well, I don't really watch him on telly. I, I never heard of him before. I never heard him on telly before, but I did some research and he is actually the new voice of of Dewey in the reboot series of DuckTales. Ironically, Dewey wears a blue shirt. <laughs> More ironically, he's now voicing the blue turtle. <laughs> and also, he's Randy from um, Randy Cunningham, the ninth grade ninja. I had no idea. Oh, so he's a ninja? He was a ninja before and now he's a ninja now. <laughs> he was a ninja. Yeah. So Leo, actually there's gonna be some changes to the um to the turtles. So uh Leo is the self-proclaimed coolest, the coolest brother who possesses relic charm and a rebel heart. A rebel heart? Isn't that like isn't Raph the rebel or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know for sure. I don't know. So yeah, as usual, he wields the two katanas and the and the blue mask. Okay. So for Raphael, we got Oma Miller. Oma Miller, and it turns out he was in um. I did not knew. I did not do this until now. It's just he was in the Transformers movie. Not come to think of it, it the first Transformer movie was Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox, of course, who was April O'Neil in the 20, 2014 film. I had no idea he was in the Transformers, and now I look at it, he is, yeah. He was also in the shows called, uh, he was also in, uh, another Law and Order show, I, Law, Law and Order, I think, and also House of Lies, and currently Bowlers, um, so he plays Raphael, oh yeah, Omar Miller, so Omar Miller plays Raphael, he is the oldest and physically biggest brother of all, and, um, that's actually a change in this one. He is now the leader. He is now the leader of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What the heck is going on? 
Maybe this is a new change or something. Maybe I don't know. We'll, we'll see for ourselves. Huh? And he's enthusiastic and bra bravado. Um, bravado. Sorry, puts him front and center for most of their bizarre adventures. Oh, uh, how come Leo's not the leader anymore? Why is Leo not not the leader anymore? What, what what's happened? I mean, oh my God, I need to know. I need to know. Okay, but we'll see what happens. Maybe there's gonna be like a little change up during the series. Like, uh, Raphael's leader for one minute and Leo takes leader for one minute and Leo takes over. We'll see. we'll see what happens. I mean, maybe Leo will, uh, will actually step up. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens. One, two, three, four, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Okay, so we'll move on to uh, Donatello. Donatello is going to be voiced by Josh Vernon. Josh Vernon. Um, he was also in the uh, the Big Bang Theory uh, for like a few episodes, of maybe. I, I watched the Big Bang Theory. I might have like you know maybe missed him or something like that. And uh, Silicon Valley. He was known uh, in Silicon Valley, and he's also in the reboot. DuckTales show. Yeah, so he and Ben, Ben Swartz, the new Leo, he is, uh, they're both in DuckTales. Uh, he, Ben plays Dewey, and now, uh, um, and Josh, he plays a guy, a character named Mark Bates. I think he's like a, I think, it, he think he's a villain or something? I'm, yeah, I think he's a villain. I, I, I only, like, haven't seen the series yet. I haven't seen, I only see a little bit of DuckTales yet. I don't, ha I have, haven't seen these characters yet. So, so, he plays so Josh actually plays Donatello, the uh, smartest brother who has an unflappable mechan- He's a little, I'm sorry, genius and tech wizard whose ninja skills are only- a second only to his coding. So he wields- well, like, yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, Raphael wields the, the size and the burn mass, he- yeah, and he wields- yeah, and Donatello wields the bow staff and the and wears the purple mask. So yeah, it's pretty much the same old thing, yeah. And okay! All right, so we move on to Michelangelo. Who's gonna play the cool? Who's gonna play the uh, the Carabonga turtle himself? Okay, so Michelangelo is gonna be voicing by Brandon Michael Smith. Okay, I I could have sworn I heard that name from somewhere. Then it actually hit me. He's actually starting the show at in Sunny with a Chance, and that's um uh, that's so. Random. I um, think that's the show called. That's so random. Uh, that's so random. Um, so uh, so random. So random. Sorry, I was thinking about it. <laughs> that's so random. Sorry. Uh, so random as Nico. I I actually recognize him. And, and he was also um, uh, what other shows he was on? I I could have sworn he was on other shows as well. But I recognize him from Sunny with a Chance as Nico. So yeah, and he's playing Michelangelo. Can't wait. So Michelangelo is the youngest brother who is an artist and an awesome skateboarder with a wild, colorful, imaginative personality. So, pretty much same old, same old. Yeah, it's pretty much same old, same old. <laughs> so, and he wields the new, the uh, two nunchucks and the Wesley Orange mask. So, pretty much the, no change, so there's pretty much a, no changes except for Leo and Raph's lead a reverse role with yeah with Leo and rap but you know what that's gonna be um it's actually uh I know some people would be actually um disappointed with that news but um I think it's gonna be like it's a bit of a game changer yeah it's a bit of a game changer yeah <laughs> okay now we we finished with the turtles now we move on to the other allies of the turtle series of the Ninja Turtle squad um we got April O'Neil and she is gonna be voiced by Cat Graham. Um, you guys will recognize her from the Vampire Diaries, um, which I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of vampires. The only vampires I saw was, um, other than, other than Ninja Turtles, um, yeah, we get a few Halloween episodes, uh, is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's pretty much it for me. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much of it. Also, and she is, yeah, she is the Turtles' human friend and a street-savvy neighbor, new, native New Yorker who is always ready to join in the fun. And also, there's another big change for her. Um, you know, throughout the whole series, we got uh, we got the reporter April O'Neil, we got the scientist April O'Neil, we got the teenage April O'Neil. Hopefully, there'll be the teenage April, but um, that's a big t that's another big change. Yeah, she is going to be a black April. 
yeah, she's going to be black. She's going to be African American. Um, yeah, it's actually going to be that is a big change. Yeah, she's uh, going to be. I could have sworn she was um already black in the comics. Yeah, I could have sworn April was originally going to be a black woman in the comics, in the, in the Mirage comics, in the original comics. Yeah, I thought she was a. Uh, yeah, with the hairstyle and the dark skin and stuff, I thought she was like, um, I thought she was originally black for some reason. <laughs> but you know what? I would love to see that. It's a bit of a change. And ironically, the, uh, the casting of the, of the Turtles and April, it's a whole, whole, um, diversity. It's, that's, that's actually what I like right now. The, the whole diversity of the, um, of the, uh, of the, of the cast. Yeah, this is a whole new take of the Ninja Turtles. And last but not least, we got Splinter, who is a mutant rat, both a father figure and sensei to the turtles. And, um, the voice actor, which, oh my god, I cannot believe he is voicing, oh my god, I cannot believe he's voicing the rat. That's right, I'm talking about Eric Bowser, aka Tiger Claws from the 2012 series. He is voicing the rat! Well, not the Rat King. I mean, he's actually voicing the head honcho of um of the nin of Ninja Turtles. He's playing the Rat Sensei. Oh, which I cannot wait to hear because I have been um ever since his first appearance as Tiger Claws, I have I fell in love with that um that tiger. I have fallen in love with that. He's one of my favorite villains of all time, and I he was a great um great addition to the Ninja Turtle franchise, and he's just amazing. He's pretty good, yeah. And also he plays um Marvin the Martian in Looney Tunes. I had no idea he was a Martian. <laughs> but you know what? I can't wait for Splinter. I can't wait to see how he will do Splinter. Yeah. Okay, so we're pretty much finished with the cast. Um I have no idea um of the other characters uh so far. Uh like who's going to be the new shredder? I mean who is gonna be the freaking new shredder? I can't I can't, I, but is it gonna be a new one, uh, new to the series, uh, like, new actor to the series, or is he gonna be, like, an old favorite, like, uh, a certain voice actor who came as a, who came back to play, uh, another turtle? <laughs> I'm just, uh, yeah, so, I can't wait to see who plays Shredder, and, oh, I wanna see who plays Casey Jones, cause I really enjoyed watching, uh, Josh Peck playing as, uh, Casey Jones, who we get to first meet in Season 2 of Ninja Turtles, the 2012 series. I cannot wait to see who is, um, yeah, so, the, who's the new Shredder, uh, who's gonna be the new Casey Jones, or what kind of villains we're going to see, uh, are we gonna see new Bebop and Rock Steady, hopefully, or maybe, um, who else? Maybe Baxter Stockman? Yeah, maybe I know the Baxter Stockman. Maybe someone does from for attention. Mm -hmm. well, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Turtle power. 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 Executive producer for this one is uh, Andy Cirillo, Cirillo, who is uh, who is actually the character design for Samurai Jack. So um, yeah, so he's gonna be the uh, uh, yeah he's the character design of Samurai Jack. He's gonna be the co-executive executive producer. Yeah, and Ed Warren, who is supervisor producer of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle franchise of series. Um, I. I forgot, I was like, mm, there's a lot of producers in this one, but, uh, yeah, I think he's, like, in the, he was in the 2012 series, and now he came back as the, the, the producer. Yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun, yeah. So, frankly, um, we know who the cast are, well, we know who's gonna be April, we know who's gonna be Splinter, but he's actually, um, oh my god, he's actually, uh, an amazing news! Oh, the voice director for the series. We got Mr. Rob Paulson. He's gonna be the voice director for the series. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, they just um, yeah, but uh, they just recently announced that Andre Romero, who's a longtime voice director, who she just recently retired, and now Rob Paulson has taken up the mantle to voice direct this series and. What do you expect from a guy who voiced Raphael in the 80s series and Donatello in the 2012 series? What do you expect from a guy who did Ninja Turtles 
twice. <laughs> a two time turtle. Man, I cannot wait! So pretty much, uh, that's, uh, well, we already know what the, what the, um, the logo looks like for the series. We know who the cast members are, and, uh, we know who the producer, producers are, and the voice director, of course. <laughs> but, uh, what about the artwork for it? Um, there's so far no news on the artwork so far. I just, um, yeah, um, so we'll find out when we get close to the, um, we'll find out maybe, uh, maybe next year or maybe early this year. Um, or, uh, no, 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 ne probably next year or sometime towards the end of 2017, but we'll see what happens when we get close to it. And, uh, we'll find out who the new Shredder is. I cannot wait to see I cannot wait. So anyway, um, post a comment down below of what you guys think of this little, uh, little recap, um, little, um, um, update for the, um, for the new series. Um, I cannot wait to see, um, more, um, post me a comment, um, for more updates or anything I actually missed. Um, yeah, actually anything I missed. Um, also, yeah, feel free to, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Daily Motion account. Also, you guys can find me on, on Twitter and Facebook. That's my end most of the time. You can, uh, post me some, um, more updates or more reports on the new series. Um, you guys can find me on Deviant and Fanfiction, which, um, hopefully, I think you guys will actually drawing up some ideas of what the new Turtles or the new April Splinter or the new Shredder would look like. And don't forget Casey Jones! Don't forget Casey Jones! It ain't a series without Casey Jones. Well, I know it's a series about Ninja Turtles, but still, you need Casey Jones in there. You need a Casey Jones. Maybe Josh Beck can actually come back as Casey Jones. Who knows? <laughs> we might get a different one. We, we might get Drake Bell to play Casey Jones. It's just a thought. <laughs> hey, it's a thought that Drake Bell can actually play Casey Jones. Mm, yeah, it's just a thought. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, this is uh, yeah. I guess that's pretty much it for me. This is uh, yeah. This is uh, Jesse from Jesse Order Productions, and I am signing off. You guys, take care of yourselves and uh, have a cowabunga weekend. Okay. Bye. <laughs>